Hey folks, this is Johnny, and we got another video here for Studio One Pro 7, Separating Stems, probably my favorite feature uh, in the new release. Uh, let's go to the classroom. Here I have an old song. This is from the, let's see, this is probably be from uh, 2000 to 2003. I don't remember exactly what year. My friend Wayne is on the drums. And my friend Mike is on the bass, and I'm doing guitar and vocals. So, the issue with this track, uh, it's an MP3, dragged it in, and it was converted to a WAV file. The problem with this track is that the drums are too loud, and the, um, and the vocal is too low. Everything's mixed. I, I remember mixing this song, and I remember doing it so fast, and I didn't have the kind of setup that I have right now. So, here's the song. I would like to hear that vocal more up front, and I would like to hear the drums down a little bit, so it's not covering up the bass and the vocal. All right, I could just try to mix the drums down, but I also want the uh, vocal a little bit above the bass. All right, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna choose separate stems, and it's gonna tell me that what's available is vocals, drums, bass, and other. Usually the other is a combination of guitars and keyboards. I don't know if maybe someday those will be able to be separated in the future. Not quite sure how that would work. I'm not quite sure how this works, but let's check it out. Let's click OK. And I've only got 8 gig of RAM. So this is going to take a little bit of extra time here. See what this thing does here. It's thinking. There we go. Excuse me. There it goes. 50 seconds. Doom, doom, doom. So, what it's doing, it is separating this mix down. Which to me, like I said, some of this technology is new to me. I've heard of stem separation before, and I'm sure it's been around a little while. I just didn't realize what it really was. All right. So it has divided this into vocals, drums, bass, and other. And usually, like I said, the guitars and keyboards and things like that are usually on, this, on one track. All right. So let's listen to the song. And while we're listening, I'm going to, do, I'm going to adjust the mix the way that I want to hear it. So let's see. Drums. In between the in and outside. Like the bass. Gonna go with the vocal. But every I love you the riddle. Caught in between your good and bad side. Gonna go in here. I have a pro AQ. That that's much better. I can hear my vocal, the drum, that snare is not punching me in the face every time it's hit. I think it's a better balanced mix. Oops, let's get here. I feel like I'm caught in the middle. Gonna raise the vocal. So let's check it against the original. So here's the original mix. You can see that it's muted. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the mute tool and we're going to do that. We could also right click and do the mute tool. <clears throat> so now let's hear what the, me what the original mix sounds like. And 
And here is the new mix. I feel like I'm caught in the middle. Caught in between the in and outside. What do you guys think? Now, if... If you actually solo the tracks, you will hear some anomalies. And they're going to be anomalies that actually aren't audible when all of the tracks are playing. So here is uh, the vocal. I feel like I'm caught in the middle. And you can see that the stem separation grabs the effects. Caught in between the in and outside. All right, let's actually hear uh, the, the drums. Not bad. And then here's the bass. <laughs> Still amazing to me. And then, of course, all of the guitars. Now, granted, it wasn't a good guitar track to begin with. But once I actually play them all together, I feel like I'm caught in the middle. Caught in between the in and outside. And here is the first one, uh, the original. I love you, the See, now all I hear is drums. There's a new mix. So again, it's not 100%. I don't know that there's any se um, separation uh, software out there. Maybe there is. Maybe you guys know of one that does more detailed. But right now, for me being able to go back to some of my old songs and fixing what I screwed up, to me, is simply amazing and that is the stem separation options all right folks i hope you guys got something out of that i think that there that this feature alone at least for me is worth the price of admission many of you might disagree um but since i don't write or sing it uh, well i do a little bit of writing but since i don't sing anymore I really want some of my songs to be, be remixed a little bit. Some of my old songs. I got a catalog of over 300 songs. This is going to be very cool. And it's also going to help me when people want me to master a song. If they send me um, a two-track WAV file and it sounds great, but I want to hear a little more vocal, I have the possibility of being able to separate that, mastering their song and sending it back to them. So it is a very nice tool all around for either yourself or if you've got a client base like I do. All right, I hope you guys got something out of that, and I will see you all in the next video.